are you guys this week? Anna and I are up in our tree house today. Way it's up in our tree house. This is as high as we can get. This is as high as we can get at our house. We, um, if you were Besides rem- swinging on our swings. You can get pretty high on your swings, that's mm-hmm. true. We can go do I guess we could. Fly. I guess we could climb on top of our house if we wanted to. <laughs> I would not recommend it though. This is as high up as we can get. Now, if you remember from last week, when we finished our story last week, the disciples were looking up into the sky and watching Jesus ascend into heaven. Um, So that was much higher than we are right now. Yeah. We're going to read that story again. Um, uh, This time from our other storybook, our Spark Storybook Bible. We are continuing this story about the Ascension and the Great Commission. After Jesus died and rose again, he and his disciples got together near Jerusalem. Jesus had some instructions for them. As you know, God is doing amazing things in the world, he said, and your help is needed. We need you to go tell stories about me. Tell your friends and family and everyone you meet what you've learned by following me. Be my witnesses in the world. Then suddenly, Jesus was rising up in the air. What was going on? He was being lifted up into a cloud. Jesus' friends looked around. Two men in white robes had joined them. The men said, Why are you just standing around looking up toward heaven? Don't worry. Jesus will come back someday. Right, said one of Jesus' disciples. Meanwhile, we have some work to do. Let's get going. So last week I invited you to write down your good news about Jesus and to think about how we can share that good news with people around us and to share God's love. Each one of us has our own special story and each one of us has a different way that we can share that love with people around us. And sharing the good news is not just something that you do when you're a grown up. And it's not just something that you do once in a while when you do something big, like go on a mission trip. Sharing God's love and sharing God's good news is something that we are called to do every single day of our life in our own special ways. Um, So today I have some special guests that are going to come and they're going to share and tell us how they share God's good news and God's love in their lives. Hey Kids Church, we've missed seeing you guys. We hope everyone is staying healthy and uh, doing well with online school or whatever is going on. Um, We just wanted to check in with you guys and let you guys know how the Harris family is doing um, and what we're doing to stay busy during quarantine and how we've still been able to um, spread the gospel from home. Yes, and the good news and just encourage people as they are going through the same kind of stuff. Um, I think Way back at the beginning, a month ago, uh, we knew that the only thing people were doing really outside was going for a walk, and we see people walking back and forth on our street every day, kids and grown-ups and um, just people that trying to get out, trying to be happy, and we thought, how could we encourage people without talking to them face-to-face? So we decorated our whole sidewalk, in front of the house with lots of chalk and bright colors and wrote good messages like never give up and I think we put a few Bible verses and a rainbow and it was just encouraged us I think other people too so just trying to reach out any way we can yeah um, so it was really fun to see people who would walk by and stop and just smile and um, so that gave us another idea uh, we were feeling a little bit sad kind of towards Easter because we weren't gonna see family um, and get to do our normal Easter celebrations uh, so we were trying again to get creative and we decided um, hey why don't we draw some colorful beautiful Easter eggs and then um, we can put them outside we we can figure out how to decorate our house for Easter so that like we can still keep the message that you know Easter's not canceled just because it's uh, quarantine time Um, so yeah we did that we did we colored what was it 30 30 Easter eggs I think and then we taped them onto our windows and um, we would see people walk by again and just kind of notice the Easter eggs and It was like a good way for us as a family to celebrate Easter. Yeah. 
yeah. It's been okay. It's yeah. been good. And of course, we have Lena with us, and there's That's... lots of love and hugs and encouragement. Yeah. Um, so yeah, guys, we just we hope that from home you're able to um, keep you know reading the Bible verses that help you and. Um, just keep spending time with your family, staying healthy, do exercise, whatever it is that you can do from your home. And we hope to see you guys soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Hi Loft Kids, it's Alex. I miss seeing you guys and I can't wait when we can all be back together and I can give you all a big hug. Zoom is great, but it just is not the same. So one way that I share the good news is by leading Bible studies. Um, I help lead a small group um, full of girls where we talk about um, different books of the Bible um, and different topics. Um, sometimes we'll talk about anxiety um, or outreach, um, just how to tell other people about Jesus. And we share our lives together. And it's really cool to get to encourage people um, in their own walk with Jesus. Um, and I also do that in one-on-one -on -one Bible studies. And those are especially neat because you can really get to um, dig deeper into God's word and um, see how it can apply to someone's life directly and help them to see that too. So I hope to see you guys soon. Bye. Hi kids. I really miss all of you. I just wanted to take the time to share with you about how I share the good news of God's love. I work at a hospital, so I try to say a kind word um, or show a smile to those who are, who are sick or sad. God's love has been so amazing in my own life. I just want to share that with everyone. I hope you're all doing great, and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Hi guys, I'm missing everyone so much, but it's been so wonderful watching everyone participating in church services and their memorized verses and just all the fun that y'all been having. But what we're talking about this week is the Great Commission. And for me, one of the main ways that I have worked on that in my life has been uh, through friendships. And I have a number of friends, some for more than 30 years in which are not, do not know Christ uh, personally, have not had, uh, accept, accepted him into their lives. And so I try and be there for them. And I'm a friend for them. And I uh, don't judge them. I try and meet them. Just like Christ met non-believers where they were, I try and meet them where they were, but I let them know. They know what I believe and what they need to do if they want to accept Christ in their lives. But uh, they call me like this morning. I had a friend text me saying, ask me to pray for her dad that she knew I would and that I um, would be there. So that is how I have uh, tried to do the Great Commission more than any other way. And of course, I pray for them. And then... Um, for me, uh, how God's been there for me about, it's been a while now. I got really sick and I lost my job and I had to move and I just couldn't take care of myself. And you know what? The Lord took care of me. And I realized that there were things that he'd had in play for years that were setting it up so that I would be fine when I got sick. He knew, but even when I didn't. And he sent friends and uh others, strangers, whoever else, and uh, I was always provided for God, and God was always there. And that's how I've really experienced probably the most intently of my, intensely of my life, God's love for me and his provision for me. I miss you. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, Kids Church. It's so good to talk to you guys. I miss y'all so much, and I can't wait for um, the next time that we get to have kids church together at Loft. Um, I wish I could join in for your fun Zoom meetings, but unfortunately I have a boring thing called work on Fridays and can't make it. But um, I just want you to know that I miss y'all and can't wait to see you guys again. Um, I also wanted to share with y'all um, how I share the good news in my life. 
Um, and it's really, it's kind of a small way of doing it, but uh, we're hoping that we make a big impact. Um, my family, we give to local and worldwide organizations, uh, mission organizations that are doing good in our world and are the hands and feet of Christ and, and bringing people to God. We um, try to, we give them a portion of what we make um, and our jobs so that they can be supported. They don't have to worry about where money is coming from um, and they can keep doing what they're doing and keep um, bringing people to Christ and sharing the good news all around the world. So um, that's one of the ways we're sharing um, and there's definitely a lot of other ways too. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, Matthew twenty-eight nineteen. I really love how all of those examples were so different. Not a single one of them was the same. Um, and that's what we were talking about, that we were all made different. We all have different stories. We all have different gifts and ways that our, um, our hearts are wired. And so um, I want you guys to think about ways that you can share God's love and you can share God's good news in your everyday life. Anna, do you have any ideas or any examples? You could draw pictures mm -hmm. and send notes to one another, like me and my teacher have have um seesaw where um you can um send like it's like emailing each other back and forth so um we've been doing that and you could draw and call a thing that says is on the sidewalk draw pictures on the sidewalk and tons of other stuff that's a really good idea. Anna loves to draw pictures and to write notes to people. And I think that encouraging people is a really, really good way to share God's love. All right, Anna, would you like to close us in prayer? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Jesus, thank you for loving us so big. We will show and tell your love everywhere we go. Thank you for being with us always. Amen. Amen. Thanks for helping me today. Guys, we sure miss you, and we would love to see y'all at our Zoom hangout on Friday. We have a lot of fun there, and it's a good way for us to see each other and to share about our weeks. And, um, and that's it. On behalf of me and the whole Kids Church team, we really, really miss you guys, and we love you so much. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.